Once again, man, welcome to the place. Welcome to the house, man. You said you've been dealing with these issues for a long time? Yeah, for a while. Okay. All right, well, we're going to get you taken care of, man. So have you seen any of the doctors for these issues? No. No? Okay. You said you're now on uh, dialysis because of high blood pressure, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How long have you been on dialysis now? Yeah, Monday. Okay. And the, and the funny thing about it is that you don't have diabetes. No. no right. So how, how long have you been dealing with the blood pressure? Well, a good while. Good while. Yeah. I got it under control. Okay. Was it something that was, was it more congenital? Was it something that was passed down? Or what did you think was happening? Yeah, passed okay. down. Both the kidney issues and the high blood pressure. Okay. It's because a lot of people don't understand, or don't realize, rather, that a lot of people who will, not everybody that's on dialysis has diabetes. Right. A kidney failure can come from a number of reasons. Yeah. High blood pressure being one of them. You know, especially in the African-American community. Yeah. yeah. What do you do, three days a week? Yeah. Okay. Monday, Wednesday. Monday, Wednesday, Friday? Friday okay. From 7 to midnight. So... How does that, because on, on, on your job, you're on your feet. So how are you able to you manage that? Because I know that dialysis can take a lot of energy out of you. Oh, yeah, because I, because I go from 7 to midnight, I can sleep overnight. Okay. And then uh, the days, that Tuesday and Thursday, mm -hmm. I don't go until week. Okay. That way I can rest. Gotcha. All right. So it looks like you have a pretty good fungal infection here, man. But I'm sending samples to the lab, so we will know exactly what the issue is. And none of these nails cause you any pain, any discomfort? The, the ones on the left foot. The left foot? Yeah. All five of them, or which one? Just which one? about. Just about. Yeah. And what, are you, what type of uh, issues are you having with them? Uh, well, just aching. Aching? Okay. That one got away from me. So, so the discomfort you have is it every time you put your shoes on? Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. All right. We got you. You've been trying to use like like a regular nail clipper. Um, it kind of looks like that. Okay. Gotcha. Here we go. Coming along pretty well here. Go. What's interesting, you don't have much of an issue between the toes. That's good. You know, it's definitely in the nails, definitely in the skin on the bottom of your feet. And when we see this, we expect to see more of an issue between your toes, but that doesn't seem to be the case, which is good. Have you tried anything over the counter or anything like that to deal with these? No. No? You haven't gone to salons or anything? No. Nah. Okay. Oh, I got you, man. No, I don't mess with the uh, nail place. Gotcha. I do too much. <laughs> I need professional help. Yes, sir. That's why we're here, brother. Yeah. Here we go. Loosen this up a little bit. Excellent. We got to get you back into your sneakers and stuff, man. Yeah. I know it's hot, but you can't wear flip flops all the time. Nah. We even had to wear like flip flops and slides in the winter time. Oh no. Nah. Okay. Easy walkers. Okay. Just slacks for them. Gotcha. You know, the funny thing about that type of footwear, $300 now. Yeah, I got about <laughs> $60. And I'm buying off Amazon. Mm hmm.
Yeah. Joe, you don't have any pain on the right foot? No. Nah. You put your shoes on? No. Nah. Good. Yep. Thank you. We got some socks, some lint stuck under here. Yeah. Let's go back to your um, dialysis story. So, how long were you dealing with uh, the high blood pressure before you had to go on dialysis? 10 years, over 10 years. And how was that journey? Mm -hmm. Just taking the medication, mm -hmm. in and out of the hospital. And then that's when they noticed my kidney levels were getting high. Okay. Last year, around this time, about a week ago, mm -hmm. I didn't feel very well, so I went to the hospital and my number was 11. Okay. Is that your creatinine? Yeah. Okay. And it shouldn't be more than two, three. Right. So they put me on dialysis the next day. Wow. <laughs> when did they, you have a, a, a port or a graft in your arm? How, what do they do? I have a fissure in my arm. Mm -hmm. And I have the port here that's coming out in three weeks. Okay. So if it, it was, that must have really been an emergency situation yeah. for them to start you on dialysis immediately yeah. before even getting the port put in. Yeah. yeah, they put it in. No, they put the port in the next day. The next day. Like a few days later, actually. Okay. Yeah. But things are pretty okay right now? Yeah, I was in the hospital for three weeks. I three weeks? Are you on the transplant list? Yeah, I'm on one. I'm going to get on two more. Okay. How long have you been on the transplant list now? Uh, November. November? Okay. Yeah. Which was pretty fast. Yeah, it is pretty fast. Actually, once I, I think a few of my cousins called or something, mm -hmm. they wanted to donate, so. Got gotcha. you. Again, it's, it's hard to get on. It's hard to stay on. Yeah, I have a, a friend that, an old client. Mm-hmm. Used to go to one of the other barbers mm -hmm. that go to the clinic I go to. He's been there for four years. Okay. So he's on the waiting list. Wow, four years. Four years yeah. Well, that's good that you got accepted so quickly. Yeah. Well, part of it is that you you're doing the what it takes to. Keep everything going. You said you lost how much weight? Uh, so far, 115. 115 pounds? Yeah. Over what time period? Uh, about two years. Two years? That's not yeah. bad. It's a great rate. Yeah. And no procedure or anything else like that? Nope. <laughs> Just straight up discipline? Discipline, yeah. And to get your transplant, you got to be 250 or below. Okay. So I got Okay. Well, I got no doubt you'll get there, man. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get there. <laughs> Especially without uh, yeah, any I'm surgery and stuff like that. that. That's excellent. They, they asked me to do it. I don't want to do that. Gotcha. My doctor always used to say that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Let's get everything cleaned up here now. More than enough of what the, what the lab needs. Oh. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna run, uh, they're gonna look at this under the microscope, okay. look for the presence of fungus, which we're sure we're fine. And then they're gonna run DNA tests. So we get the name of the organism or organism if it's more than one. Okay. So we'll know how to deal with it.
you got a good head start today, but this is just step one. Okay. Step two will be what we get from the lab. Right. Let us know exactly what we're dealing with, so we'll know exactly how to treat it. Being on dialysis, that kind of changes the game on what our treatment options are. But that doesn't mean we can't do anything about it. I got to say, man, despite everything you're up against, you're doing quite well. I'm proud of you, man, because I see a lot of people in this situation who just give up, you know? And they just resign to being on dialysis for the rest of their lives. And that's a tough life, I don't have to tell you. But you know, you're... you're got the discipline to, to do the weight loss and to keep on going so you can move on to uh, the transplant when that time comes. All right. Now, I'm going to put on here first so, our special blend of uh, shea butter we use. We, make, we actually make it here in the office now. Are you able to get down and take care of your feet a little? Oh, okay. All right. We're going to get some of this here. All right. And then I'm also going to send a prescription to your pharmacy for the antifungal you'll need for the athlete's foot at the bottom of the feet. The next thing I'm putting on some vitamin A and D ointment. That's just as a skin protector to lock in what the shea butter is doing. All right, otherwise, it will just evaporate and be disappeared before you get back in the car. There we go. Yes, sir. Real foot. That's what we're doing around here, man. So, also, you have to deal with the shoes. Not enough just what we did today and the medication when the time comes, but you also have to disinfect your shoes. Be sure you're rotating through your shoes. Don't wear the same shoes two days in a row. You get to like a little Lysol or something like that. Spray out your shoes at the end of the day, including your slides, right? Not just to be about the box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rotate through your shoes and disinfect them every day. But now we're working, man. Now we are rolling, sir. Real foot, man. We're going to see, uh, get back in touch with you in a couple of weeks when the report comes in. So we'll know what we need to do as far as uh, treating the nails. And then we'll see you back here about every two or three months to keep the nails in shape while the medication, whatever medication that's going to be, is doing its work. All right? That's it, my brother. Appreciate you. You got it, man. Yeah. All right. This is Kevin Jefferson, the DC Foot Doctor. Thank you very much for watching this video. Like it with a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell so you will know when a new video has been uploaded. Share it with your family and friends. If you leave a comment or a question, it may be featured in a future video. But most importantly, take care of your feet.